Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting question. So, the given question is, find all the solution of x that is satisfying x plus 1 whole to the power 5 plus x minus 1 whole to the power 5 equals to 32x. So, here we are asked to find all the solution of x that satisfies this given equation. So, without any delay, let's start the solution. So, our given equation is x plus 1 whole to the power 5 plus x minus 1 whole to the power 5 equals to 32x. As the power is 5, I am going to apply the binomial theorem. That is, a plus b whole to the power n equals to summation r equals to 0 to n n c r multiplied with a to the power n minus r multiplied with b to the power r. So, by using this theorem, I will expand this x plus 1 to the power 5 and x minus 1 to the power 5. So, let's just expand first x plus 1 to the power 5. Okay. So, we can write summation of r equals to 0, n is 5, 5 c 0, x to the power 5 minus 0, 1 to the power 0. Okay. So, this equals to now, I will expand it. So, we have 5c0 x to the power 5 multiplied with 1 plus 5c1 x to the power 4 multiplied with 1 plus 5c2 x to the power 3 multiplied with 1 square plus 5c3 x to the power 2 multiplied with 1 cube plus 5c4 x to the power 1 multiplied with multiplied with 1 to the power 4 plus 5c5 x to the power 0 multiplied with 1 to the power 5. We know that ncr is equals to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial multiplied with r factorial. So, by applying this formula, we can write 5c0 is 1. So, we have x to the power 5 plus 5c1 is 5 x to the power 4 plus 5c2 is 10 multiplied with x is cube plus 5c3 is also 10 multiplied with x is square plus 5c4 is 5 x plus 5c5 is 1. 1 multiplied with x to the power 0 multiplied with 1 is nothing but 1. This is the expanded form of x plus 1 to the power 5. Now the second term is x minus 1 to the power 5. Similarly applying the binomial theorem we can write 5c0 x to the power 5. As here we have minus 1 so we can write minus 1 to the power 0 plus 5c1 x to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 5c2 x to the power 3 minus 1 to the power square plus 5c3 x to the power 2 minus 1 to the power 3 plus 5c4 x to the power 1 minus 1 to the power 4 plus 5c5 x to the power 0 minus 1 to the power 5. So the expanded form of x minus 1 to the power 5 is x to the power 5 minus 5 x to the power 4 plus 10 x is cube minus 10 x is square plus 5 x minus 1. Here we have the expanded form of x minus 1 to the power 5. Now let's just put the expanded form in the given equation. So in the given equation we have x plus 1 to the power 5 plus x minus 1 to the power 5 equals to 32x. So, here we will write the expanded form of each term. So, x to the power 5 plus 5 x to the power 4 plus 10 x is cube plus 10 x is square plus 5 x plus 1 and expanded form of x minus 1 whole to the power 5 is x to the power 5 minus 5 x to the power 4 plus 10 x is cube minus 10 x is square plus 5 x minus 1 equals to 32 x 
so here we have plus 5x to the power minus 5x to the power 4 get cancelled out similarly positive 10x square negative 10x square get cancelled out plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled out so we have 2x to the power 5 plus 20x cube plus 10x equals to 32x so now by taking this 32 to the left hand side we have 2x to the power 5 plus 20x cube minus 22x equals to 0 let's just take 2x common so by taking 2x common we have x to the power 4 plus 10x square minus 11 equals to 0 so from here we can write 2x equals to 0 and another solution is x to the power 4 plus 10 x square minus 11 equals to 0. So from here we have x equals to 0 is one of the obvious solution. Now let's just find the other solution from this equation. So here we have x to the power 4 plus we can write this 10 x square as 11 x square minus x square minus 11 equals to 0 this implies is, let's just take x square common from these two terms so we have x square x square plus 11 and from this two term we'll take minus 1 common so we have x square plus 11 equals to 0 so this implies is, we can write x square minus 1 multiplied with x square plus 11 equals to 0 so from here we can write x square minus 1 equals to 0 and x square plus 11 equals to 0. Okay, so this implies is x equals to plus or minus 1 and here x square equals to minus 11. This implies is x equals to root under minus 11. This implies is x equals to plus or minus i root under 11. Thus the values of x we satisfying the given equation are 0 plus or minus 1 or plus or minus i root 11 is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting questions. Thank you.